What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my top 3 videos. I've made one video on the creepiest clans, I've made another video on the coolest clans, and this one is a little bit different. Now, depending on how this video ends up, I'm going to be putting some snazzy word in the title itself. Maybe it'll be top 3 snazziest clans, if that's even a word. So, let's take a look at number 1 on the list, which isn't that interesting, and yet it is, because this guy somehow figured out how to glitch out the Clash of Clans description. And it's a simple clan called War, okay? And take a look at this. What is going on here? Look at this. He has all these weird dots over here, or squares over here, and it just keeps going. It goes on, and this goes behind the thing, by the way. I don't know how that works. Somehow the description extended all the way down here, and if you're an iPhone, on an iPhone, it's even cooler. Search up this clan. 10,000 trophies required to join? Guys, you need 10,000 trophies to join this clan. He glitched the S word out of this clan. I have no clue how. Okay, so to make matters even more fascinating, he's somehow warring with five members. Now, I've had this clan bookmarked for a long time, and I've been watching it, and it's wars every week, it's wars go up once, and yet they never go to ten members. Somehow they are warring and winning without, without having ten people. H how does that work? And finally, if you guys take a look right here, the names of these people are just nuts. Like, whoever spent the time to do this... I don't know. I don't know, guys. So there you go. That's a cool clan. It's it's a it's probably the glitchiest clan in Clash of Clans. Maybe that'll be the end of this video. So next off, I don't have any other glitchy clans for you guys. I have a really solid clan. Like this clan is epic. It's known as the 200 Club, and this is probably the highest donating clan in Clash of Clans. Period. Because this clan, it's it's nuts. Look at this. One person on- okay, so first of all, let me just get one thing straight. On average, per season, I donate about seven, eight hundred troops, sometimes a thousand. These guys, I- first of all, when I first saw this, I was like, wait a minute, someone donated 35,000 troops? And then I scrolled down, wait a minute, 77,000 troops and he's a level 264? Almost one of the highest levels in Clash of Clans? It gets better, guys. Anyone can join this clan, you guys can join it, and you guys can chill in this clan. You're gonna get kicked, but if you donate, you can chill here. It gets even better, okay? Alright, you, you guys ready? One person in this clan donated over five, oh, oh, okay, okay, almost 500,000. By the time we, by the time this video goes up, it's gonna be 500,000 troops in one season. I'm rounding up a little bit, but I'm gonna assume by the time season finishes, it's gonna be 500,000. 500,000 troops. Let that sink in, guys. Even if it's barbs. That's half a million barbs donated by this person. Do you know how nuts that is? Okay, so these are the troops this person donates. Just some advice to any of you guys planning on leveling to 249 with a max Town Hall 9. Do you know that is astounding? Like, first of all, I don't know how someone can spend that much time doing this. Second of all, I can't believe a clan has to be this OP and still remain anyone can join. Just like this guy who just joined, he's probably gonna get it, his butt kicked in a second. But at, at the same time, have the top donators in probably the entire world. So that's 500,000 troops. Okay, enough with that, right? The last clan I want to show you guys isn't as epic, but it does have to, it does have one very epic person in it. It's a level seven clan somehow, and yet it's full of really low level people. Look at this. The clan consists of people who are town hall, probably ones, twos, threes, four. Okay, maybe not ones, but twos, threes, and fours. And they're all super, super low level, alright? That's fine. They're really low level, and they are somehow a level 7 clan. Making them one of the highest level clans in Clash of Clans as of me doing this footage. The hilarious thing is, some of the top clans in the world aren't even level 7 yet. Maybe as of this video going up, they will be. But that's something. I'm gonna assume by the time this video actually goes up, they'll be like level 8 or something along those lines. But that's not the cool part about this clan. You guys, you guys ready for the really cool part? Guess who the leader of this clan is? I'm gonna look for him. Uh, he's in here somewhere. This guy. So first of all, he's a level 172, so he's probably your average Town Hall 10, until you take a look at the fact that he is a Town Hall 4. He's a Town Hall 4, leading a clan full of Town Hall 4s, and he's a level 172. Let that sink in for a second. Look at those Christmas presents and all this rare stuff. Can you imagine how much he could sell his base for? 
This is a Town Hall 4 that's 170. That is so astounding. How many barbs level 2 did you donate, bro? So guys, that is the three clans that I wanted to show you guys. It took a lot of searching. In fact, some of these clans, maybe even some of this footage, I don't know, as of editing, I don't know how this video is going to fit together, but I'm going to assume it's going to flow nicely. All, all these clans are just nuts. Like, the guys leading them are nuts, the people inside of them are nuts, and either A, don't have a life, or B, are just seriously impressive and good video material. So I, I consider the second one the main option, so this was just really solid video material. If you guys want to search up this clan, or these clans, or you want to join them, you can join the second clan, the really high donating one. You can't join the third one because it's closed, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. This is going to be me, logging off.